Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be going over a ring bodyweight exercise that you're going to want to add into your training, the rear delt fly. The rear delt fly with rings is an isolation exercise that targets the posterior aspect of our shoulders. Rear delt flies can be great to add as a warm up or towards the end of a workout to target those smaller posterior muscle groups that tend to be neglected including the posterior delts. Usually, posterior delts tend to be a neglected area of the shoulders. So if your goal is to develop your physique and develop that 3D shoulder look, you're definitely going to want to train those posterior delts. Aside from that, this can also be useful to work on weak points if your upper posterior region is lacking. During the rear delt fly, the muscles primarily involved include your posterior delts, rhomboids, and mid traps. So when it comes to setting up for the rear delt fly, you're going to preferably want the rings placed near shoulder height to ensure that the rear delts are primarily working without exerting unnecessary effort from elsewhere due to increased difficulty from having the rings placed at a low height. When preparing to begin your reps, start off with your arms locked out, keep your hips extended, and shoulder blades retracted. During the concentric or ascending portion, with straight arms, think about pulling your arms far away from each other as your torso ascends to the top and really retract or squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top while avoiding bending your arms to the best of your ability. The reason being is because one of the actions of our posterior delts is to horizontally abduct our arms. So if you're pulling yourself to the top with excessive bending of the arms, you might be taking away from the posterior delts performing most of the work. So keep those arms as straight as you can. A very slight bend is okay. At the top, you'll more than likely end up in a standing position. Even so, try not to lose tension. A good tip is to imagine yourself trying as hard as you can to pull the straps off the bar in that standing position. During the eccentric or negative phase, it's important to lower down at a controlled or slow pace so that we can continue to maintain tension and challenge the rear delts while lengthening them. There are some mistakes you want to avoid while performing the rear delt fly. As I stated earlier, you want to avoid bending your arms excessively because when this occurs, you're most likely performing a row to get to the top, compensating for weakness and cheating your rear delts of the work they need to get stronger and grow. Another mistake is coming up too fast and losing tension at the top. You'll notice this if the ring straps begin to slack, which is why I mentioned that tip earlier in the form section. When it comes to progressions for the rear delts, the further from the anchor point you are, the easier the exercise becomes. The closer you are to the anchor point, the harder the exercise becomes. So we have far from anchor point, close to anchor point, and under anchor point. Honestly, you're better off using an easier progression here and performing more solid repetitions so that you can really fatigue and grow those rear delts while challenging them with good form. All right, guys, that is the end of my video on rear delt flies. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and click that subscribe button down below for more content in the future. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the process.